Uh, students let us continue with the TCL command so in the previous video I explained about the commit and rollback now let us see uh, the save point command so before uh, explain before continue with the save point command so let me uh, check whether what is the table that I am having now so I need to apply uh, modifications on that table select star from customers so this is a table which I am having now. So uh, now I want to apply the save point command on this table. So save point is a transaction when you can roll the transaction back to a certain point without rolling back the entire transaction. So let me explain that point. So before I started uh, just use the command save point. Let's take SP1 save point is created means in this table the customer table I started one save point save point one save point one is created now I am applying one modification on this table I need I want to delete one row here delete from let's take customers delete from customers where let's take ID is equal to one so what happened here so one row was deleted okay so one row was deleted after deleting I want to use the option save point save point sp2 let us take sp2 save point 2 was also created now again I want to do uh, one more modification on the table that is delete from customers where let's take id is equal to 3 okay let us take id is equal to 3 okay one row was deleted now i again i'm applying save point so don't be confused at the last i'll just select the table let's see what happening so again save point sp3 was created now again i'm deleting another row delete from customers where id is equal to 5 another row was deleted now what i want to do now the three deletions have taken place here did you observe first row id 1 id 3 id 5 so three deletions uh, have taken place now let us say you have changed your mind now you you just change your mind and decided to roll back to the save point so I thought okay I deleted but I want to go back I want to roll back to the save point that you identified as sp2 so okay id1 is deleted but I want to be rolled back up to the save point of sp2 because sp2 created after the first deletion the last two deletions are undo means I want to just undo the last two deletions the first has to be deleted okay the Banu whatever the roll number having ID is having one that is deleted so after whatever the deletions I have taken that has to be rolled back so wherever the up to which point you want to be rolled back that at that point you can do the operations undo operations so here the save point is using to just like uh, a different uh, before committing that uh, if you want to roll back you can shift to uh, up to wherever you want okay you can undo the operations okay with the help of this save point means whatever the operation that you have done let us uh, try to save the point by using the save point uh, whenever you have done one modification try to use the save point and another modification try to use the save point so so that if you if you want the data uh, whatever you deleted uh, before 3-4 uh, steps back that data also you can be retrieved so this is the use of this save point so let me uh, just use the command rollback now rollback to with save point sp2 rollback is completed now just check what is the table now S select star from customers so whatever uh, deletions that are taken uh, from the save point to 
those two deletions were undo here that is the id 3 and 5 are undo but uh, sp1 is deleted okay because i i'm i just roll back means uh, sp1 was not available here because i roll back the statements up to sp2 only so that's why only two uh, rows are appear so this is the use of save point